Tampa baseball fans and welcome Major League Baseball on tap it's the Tampa Bay Rays going up against the Oakland Athletics all right we'll be back to get this one started after this coming up on the first pitch and pitching in this one for Oakland number 38. He has a great ability to command a game boo, but in order for that to happen today, he's got to limit damage, make smart pitches, and avoid big innings. If he were a golfer, we'd say he needs to avoid any double bogeys out there, and if he does, his scorecard is going to look pretty good at the end of the day. And here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. The pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike, and we are underway. The 1 just Go. missed. Right Here's through there for a strike. Oh. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One away. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. And now it's Brandon Lau. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. No ball. One strike. Just oh. missed. This one lifted in the air, left field. And that is a foul ball. One out, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Now it's Randy Arozarena. That pitch in for a strike. 0-1. Lifted in the air, right center field. Ruiz gets under it. He makes the grab, and that is that. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Back here in the East Bay. Starting on the mound in this one, Zach Eflin. What do we need to know here? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on eight. one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Right-hander kicks, deals, and that's outside. One ball, one strike. Next offering in there for a strike, and that's strike two. To third, he gets to it with a slide. To first, it's there, and that's a great play. And time now to check out the A's lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. 
Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Oh. And that skips in the dirt. 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. One down, base is empty. Ball and that's two. outside. Hit hard on the ground, a short. Over to Diaz. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. That is good. Now the A's designated hitter, Brent Rooker. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Right through there for a strike. That one fouled off. Two out spaces empty. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing there for the A's. We played an inning. No score. Back in Oakland, Isaac Paredes now. Man at second, nobody out. Chris... Certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so... Hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. The pitch. And another ball. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. Harold Ramirez at the dish. And that's ripped for a base hit. A Rosarena flies around third. Throw is offline, and he scores. On the board first, it's one zip. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Richie Palacios will hit next. And a good eye there. One ball, no strike. The lefty, the 1 0. And a foul ball. Oh. Up and in, ball two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Trevor Gott getting loose out there. Alexander, the lefty, warming up as well. And now the lefty, runner takes off. In the air, left field, on the move towards the line. Lede towards the line, looking up, makes a one-handed catch. And now it's Jose Siri. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. 
He's so One solid. Up. Calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. No, Pitch misses outside. there. Now 2 0. Oh. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. Pulls it in to end the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. So here's Brown at the plate. Leading off for the A's, the right fielder. Jeff Brown. Eflin back to work. No, Just missed. Hard. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit, so he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. One ball, two strikes. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Back to back curveballs and back to back whiffs. And I tell you what, that's having a feel for what you can be to hit with. Man. And clearly, he wasn't picking up that breaking ball at all. Now it's JD Davis. First pitch swinging. Oh one. Man at second. High fly ball out towards left field. That one carrying. Gone. Ball game. He'll take a jog around the bases. And the A's walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final score here today, 2-1.